Good morning, I'm Mick and this is a sandblasting channel. We're going to be uh, sandblasting this today, but if you follow my channel, you'll know that... Um, I don't know where to look because I'm looking at screen here, but camera's over here, so I think like that over here. Yeah, if you follow my channel, uh, you'll realise that I had some issues with my pot last, on last boat I did. So, this pot I'm running is my old Hodge Clemco 2040. It's got issues, well it did have issues, so let's hope it does the job. Right, let's get into it. It's actually a wide beam this. Look how wide that arse is. Let's give it a better shot for that. Oh, what's this? No, it'll come off anyway. What we're going to do, we're going to sandblast it. So we're going to take this blacking off. We're not bothered about mill scale underneath. All we're interested in doing is getting it prepped for paint. And it's uh, just knocking it back to the steel again. So there's it's only a little short ass this one. Threads are gone in one of the in one of these sides. I don't know which side it is, but the thread's gone inside that. There's a plunger in there with a copper thing on top. On top, so that copper plunger squeezes this rubber so it squeezes rubber so it slows sand down like an egg timer and that's how you control your sand so you turn it but while that's shut off while it's fully shut that it's bleeding past that rubber when it's on Probably get away with just nipping it up a little bit more, just a little bit more sand. Either that or I should have gone for the oh in fact I have. This is super fine, I forgot. This is this media I'm running at the minute, it's it's a super fine, it's a it's a slow it's a slower cut on heavier stuff. I have got some fine busted van. It's, it's just that I picked one bags up. I put some on top yesterday. Well, yesterday, for yesterday's job, I can't remember. But yeah, I've got, I've probably got about eight bags of super fine on top of it, fine plus. So I just turned this pot off. I'm going to get top of that. I can't get it. I brought top off it, but I can't last. Now I can get it better. I can't get in under there. I could have bought this hard to clean up for a long time. This is, uh, this is up there with one at our distance. It's hard to get that blacking off. I'm not sure why it's so hard. Probably a different brand of whatever, different brand of blacking. I'm not sure. Might not be as old. I don't know. But it's 
definitely quite hard to get off. Normally a lot quicker than this. It's same compressor, same nozzle, same media. Everything's same. The only thing that has changed is my blast pot. But I can't see that making no difference. It might have been blasted before. There's a possibility. If it had been blasted before, obviously it needs it. Oh, paint will stick a lot, a lot better than what you can get with just sanding it.
Right, that's that done. That put the form pretty well, to be honest. I'm impressed with that. There were a guy that commented saying, why don't we take them off and blast behind them? Well, that's one that's been worn away. So, I think it'd be fine just leaving them on. Turns out that this one had been sandblasted before, that's why it's quite hard to get off. So it was keyed up properly when it was when it was made. Right, catch you on next one.